How's it going guys? Slane HD here today. Uh, so earlier I made a video of um, how to do basically a simple ping of death attack using <clears throat> command line, um, which is not very effective unless you have like a botnet or a ton of computers to launch the attack. Um, <clears throat> anyways, today I'm going to show you uh, another way you can launch a denial of service attack. So um, first of all, you're going to want to install Kali Linux, which is a free operating system. Um, not going to go too much into it. Uh, if you're watching this video, you probably have it or have heard of it. Anyways, I have a video on how to install that in VMware. VMware costs money. You can install it in Oracle VirtualBox, which is free. So yeah, anyways, after you install Kali Linux, get everything up and running. Make sure to do app get update, everything up to date. This is going to be very simple. It's actually a uh, GUI interface, so you don't even have to use command line. Um, so uh, other than this, actually, you wouldn't even have to do this, but... To make us feel a little smarter, type in sudo eater cap <clears throat> slash capital G, enter. That's going to load up eater cap, eater cap. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Or you can simply go to somewhere in here, uh, sniffing and soofing eater cap graphical. Okay. So then we're going to do a unified sniff of our network for fun. Not really necessary. necessary. <clears throat> Anyways, um, so as you can see, you can add scripts in there if you want. This is a really cool program. Uh, anyways, you're going to go to Manage Plugins. And right here, you have your DOS attack. Double click it. Oh, crap. Uh, didn't mean to do that. Okay, good. It didn't, it didn't start it. So uh, let's just give it a second, actually. Um, sorry about that. Let me... Uh, we don't want to do bridged. So you're going to do a sniff. And let that load up. But yeah, so the plugin, as you can see, is here. And basically, you will use this program to, to run it for you. And it's as simple as adding in your target's IP address, which... If it's not your IP address, uh, be careful because obviously it's illegal. Um, so, you know, keep that in mind. Try it on your network. Try it on your IP address. Crash your own network. Don't crash anyone else's. Um, there's also websites out there that you can actually use uh, or websites that are actually built out there that let you hack them and, and mess with them. Um, Kali Linux itself will let you like rent out virtual labs, things like that to, uh, test, you know, your tax on, um, which is really cool. It's pretty expensive though. Um, so what you would do is add your victim's IP right here. So let's just say it was 10.10.0.1 and then you would hit enter or okay. And there you go. It's that simple. Um, now this is, you know, I, I, I know there's a lot of hate going around with denial of service attacks and I can understand why. So, like I said, don't use this to attack people on Twitch or stu anything stupid like that, uh, Xbox, things like that. It's a, a very easy and stupid way to get in a lot of trouble. Um. Kali Linux is, was built to to be used as like a uh, it's it's built by offensive security so it's it's meant to be used as a deterrent to hackers so this is just one of many programs that you can launch attacks from to try to stay one step ahead um, and I'll be doing more videos on other applications um, actually while we're here um, another cool a little application built into Kali Linux is OpenVAS. Um, we can go over that real quick too. So you'll you'll go to information gathering. I'm sorry, vulnerability analysis, OpenVAS initial setup. It's going to download a database, uh, all the vulnerabilities. Takes a little bit depending on your internet speed. Then you'll do OpenVAS start, which you can also do from command line. 
Um, and after that, you'll get a password and a login, and you'll log in. And then from here, you can do vulnerability scans. So right now I'm scanning Google. Um, but you can do any IP right here is like a wizard. It makes it easier. It's an easy way to do just a quick scan. But I recommend actually coming in here. If you've never used a scanner before, just play around with it. Look at all the different types of scans you can do. Um, I mean, actually look into it. Look what it looks for, you know, the types of things it does. I mean, there's a ton of stuff you can do with OpenVAS for vulnerability scans. Um, and you can even go out and make money using this, you know, penetration testers, become an independent penetration tester, which actually I'm teaching myself Kali Linux at the moment. Um, and I'm trying to learn about all these applications so that I can actually do that. Um, and it's just such an awesome operating system. Uh, I really recommend it to anyone who wants to get into network security and maybe penetration testing or ethical hacking or, hey, unethical hacking too, if that's what you're into. But, um, yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys that quick little uh, um, application here, editor cap, and then this one, green bone. And in other videos, once I learn them better, I'll start going over more of these applications. I just don't know them that well yet, and I don't want to make a video about them until I really have them down. Even this application, I don't really have down. However, <clears throat> with my job, I've used other vulnerability scanners, so I do know a little bit about scanners. Um, so if you have any questions there, let me know. And if there's any applications specifically you guys want to learn about, let me know. I have a wireless USB adapter on the way, so I can start doing some wireless attacks. I'll probably make a video showing me cracking my uh, Wi-Fi password, things like that. Um, but yeah, that'll be it for now. So as always, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. All right, take care.